okay guys we're gonna start looking at this very interesting place it feels super cozy a painter used to work here this used to be his place and his studio so we're going to check it out it's so full of character this home is located in a gorgeous town in the north of Puglia The population is around 4,000 people and the altitude 270 meters above sea level. From here we can reach the beautiful beaches of Puglia in about 15 minutes and the beaches of Molise in about 30 minutes. As you walk around, you will notice the beautiful white streets, lined with tall trees pretty much from the entrance of the town to the historical center. It really feels like a people-friendly town. The architecture has a beautiful mix between that one of Puglia and Molise. The buildings are very well kept all around. And since the border is so close, people here have very strong ties to the neighboring region of Molise. This town is very accessible, surrounded by greenery and is part of the Parco Nazionale del Gargano. Within the town, you can find plenty of businesses such as cafes, bars, restaurants, bakeries, florists and many other services. The streets are flat, so it is quite walkable and there are a number of architectural and cultural wonders for you to discover and keep entertained. From here, you can reach Termoli in about 30 minutes, the city of Foggia in about 50 minutes, which by the way is beautiful, and Bari, the capital of Puglia, in about two hours. As we enter from the main door, we come, scusa? Ah, no, questo, eh, faccio un video. Ah, eh, sì. Sai, no, no, no va bene, va sai. bene, no. Quindi, um, I was going to speak in Italian to you guys. Um, so, we come here to this area, which is a shared area for other apartments. And as we come up, we find this open space here. So, we have one entrance for an apartment here and the apartment that we're going to look at is this one there as we enter we find this open room here with the gorgeous gorgeous ceiling and you're going to see lots of paintings because as I mentioned, this person used to paint here. And now we have a window here that faces that little courtyard there. He said, we can try, he says. We just asked the real estate agent if the paintings are included and he kind of um, smiled. <laughs> and he said, mm, we can try. Very, very nice paintings. Are you gonna take measurements only? Or not oh, all the total thing? I'm not sure. I, can... I love the ceiling. Yes. Even though, look, it hasn't been done the best see. Yeah. Be, but it still looks beautiful. It feels uh, rustic, rustico. And um, it suits the place. Uh, yeah, it suits him. Like he... It suits the, the artist in him. In the kitchen and the dining room. Okay, so the kitchen is over there, but we'll go there in a second. Let's come over here. And we have a small storage space with really nice height. 
and over here we have one bedroom The size of this bathroom is pretty good, probably 20 square meters, I would say. And we have a balcony here. And if you wonder about parking, it will pretty much be somewhere along here, just like most places in Italy. Um, parking is on the street. It's very rare to find a um, garage in the historical center or even in the center of the towns. What's this little nook here? Maybe we'll see from the inside. Okay, we're back here and this may be some closet space or storage. Oh, yep. Hmm, may have some more paintings here. Oh, yeah. Little ventilation and light for this closet type of area. We have, is this another closet? Yeah. So very nice, light and airy first bedroom. That was the storage space that we checked at the beginning. This is our main entrance and we're back here. So you can access the bathroom and the kitchen area through that door or through this door. But um, let's go over this way. About a, a hundred and fifty. Yeah. He's gonna show you upstairs, honey. Yeah. Okay, so if we keep going over here, we have the kitchen, and you could probably have a nice round table over there. So kitchen and dining. And if we come over here, you have the laundry and bathroom. You have a nice skylight there. Oh, it's big as well. And the area is big enough for a sink, a washing machine, a toilet, a bidet, and a bathtub. And if we keep coming over here, we will go back to this main area here and we enter from there. So double access to the bathroom and laundry. Let's go back this way so that we don't get lost. The place is about 150 square meters. Now here we have another room. It doesn't have any windows to the outside, but you have that connection there to the kitchen. And this one to another room, which we'll see shortly.
And from here, we come to an area of the house which is very rustic. It's pretty much the way it was um, when the house was built with the original flooring, gorgeous beams, and the height is amazing. I feel that here is where the painter used to have his, um, his studio. And we have some storage over here. You can appreciate the height of this room. We have a very large window here facing the side street. If you enjoy our content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. From only $3.50 a month, you can help us create the content you love. I will leave the link in the description section of this video. Grazie mille! Okay, I think that over here, I lost Leonardo, the real estate, but I think there's an exit here. He mentioned, ah, yes. So over here, there is an exit to the other street. And I think that will mean that you pretty much will have your private entrance if you accessed the home from this side and not from the other side that we just came from. Hmm. I think you can see that, like a grand entrance at some point from here. And then your stairs kind of like reverse engineering the way this house was a long time ago. I think it makes sense that this is the main room and then the rest um, became an addition of this house. What did you see over there? Another apartment. That belongs to here? Yeah. Are you gonna show me? Yeah, come. Which one? Ah, si, grazie, Leonardo. Come on. Si, I'm following you. Ah. So that it makes sense, I don't want to just, um, out of the blue, turn up somewhere else. Otherwise, you guys will get confused. Yep, I'm keeping up. I'm just, I just have shorter legs than you do. Yeah, these steps are a bit steep, especially for a short legged person like me. Ah. <laughs> yeah, so that it runs off smart. And it's included in the price? Yeah. <gasps> what? If you're still watching this video, it seems to me that you're pretty serious about purchasing a home in Italy. If you're ever in need of expert, independent, legal advice and support, at any stage of your property purchase process, we will be more than happy to refer you to a fantastic group of professionals we have been collaborating with. Just send us an email to rossiniandco at gmail.com. That's Rossini with two N's. Oh, wow. Yeah, one. you can see how lived in it's, it's been. There. Huh. 
look it has the connections for the kitchen the little front terracy thing very nice ceiling I'll just come over this way camera from Maria la Leonardo is gonna show us something ah oh, yes oh che bella guarda an old style chimney very pretty let's go back to here oh this looks so new yeah little storage here okay storage main bedroom what are we with a window oh look at the width of the of the wall bathroom with a skylight large enough for a sink a toilet a bidet and a shower and what's this hmm, we'll ask Leonardo what that is in a minute and we went there and then is this a second bedroom little storage area. Oh, not so little storage area did you see that the place downstairs has a separate entrance yeah so maybe if someone decides to rent this one out they can enter through the main door yeah. and if you want to keep the one downstairs for yourself you enter through, through that mm -hmm. second area yeah. Scusa Leonardo, questa porta che che c'è dentro un sgabuzzino o Sì, ripostilio. Ripostilio, ok, va bene. Ah, è chiuso. No, va bene, lasciamo ah, così. Diciamo che è ripostilio. Ah, no, è un pozzo luce. Ah, pozzo luce. Ah, è molto eh, comune sì, pozzo guarda, luce messo, qui. Ah, il finestrone sopra. È aperto, no. Ah, ah, pozzo luce, okay. It seems like in this area they're very common. So pretty much a window that you have there. See? And it goes, it just like a skylight that gives light to a very large area. Pretty much pozzo luce, is, that's, that's what it means. But we, we're saying that it's a bit strange that they put a door here because if you open there, bloop, E il tetto di questa tetto di questa nuovo. casa tetto nuovo? Sì. Ah, ok. New roof, you guys. Ah, very interesting property, ah. Eh? So full of character, livable. Um, this top area as well as the bottom area. So what we were saying is like, if you decide to rent this out, um, then you can enter from that way for this apartment here and then if you decide to live in the apartment there which we visited before you enter from the back entrance um, which I showed you before. I hope it makes sense and that you have enjoyed this video. Please let us know what you think about this property in the comment section and we'll see you in the next one. Ciao! Thank you so much to our patrons for their generosity. Your extra support is humbling and very much appreciated. Are you wanting to have a little piece of Italy with you?
If so, remember to visit our merchandise store. We have lots of designs to keep you inspired and working towards your dream. We have a lot more content for you to enjoy. If you would like to continue watching our home tours, please click here. If you would like to see our own home and renovation story, click here. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Ciao!